Base jumping might be safer than this. Like into shallow water. Uh, this looks really scary. <laughs> really scary. He's dead keen to jump it, so why not let him try? This is a story of a crew of urban athletes on a mission to uncover Britain's hidden treasures. Meet Calvin. I'm Calvin, I'm 20 years old, and I am a skateboarder. Pete is a man of few words and big tricks. You'll never catch him without his BMX. Katie is a world-class free runner. She'll keep the pace up and the flips high. Then there's Jed. Hello, my name is Jadar Doohan. Currently on a high line. Yeah. For them, no challenge is too big, and there's nothing like a no-entry sign to get them going as they explore Britain's abandoned playgrounds. Today, we're heading to an outdoor pool on the north coast of Scotland. Alongside some pro wakeboarders, our crew will try to overcome the water hazards in an epic medley of moves. They'll need to stay high and dry. A few that we're so called cool for free running. Yeah, yeah, you probably got yeah. something for that topic, yeah. Cool. I reckon so, but not in this weather. <laughs> I feel like quite a lot of places, like where there's outdoor swimming pools, have now like fizzled out. Like they used to be up near where I live. They literally got demolished. People simply weren't using them. I heard that some wakeboarders are coming down. <laughs> yeah, really? Sick. Yeah. yeah. It'd be cool to see what bit they would use on this bit. You know, so like they're going to be jumping this and jumping some other crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we should be thinking about how, how we can like do cool like combinations and lines together. Oh, is that it? Sick. Mm -hmm. I have to jump out of the top of the hill so I can bomb the hill. What? Eager to get going, Calvin has spotted an opportunity he can't resist. <laughs> this local attraction is hidden in a cove. Back in the 1930s, this place was heaving and a hotspot for all British holidaymakers. But fast forward 80 years, and the once glorious Art Deco complex is in a sorry state. As flights abroad got cheaper, Tarlea's visitors left, and its walls got destroyed by a storm. The water is still considered dangerous, so swimming is banned. Little fish. Hey, no swimming in here, guys. <laughs> Can't you read? <laughs> cool. I want to check out that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for free running, I'm sure there's loads of options up there. It looks like the most ideal area. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I think we should go and check it. Yeah, I want to have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Bro, this is like a dope skating plaza. Like, I'd come here just to skate anyways, you know what I mean? Like, these ladies are rad. We could probably get, like, a doubles clip on this. Like, I could probably pop over this. You know As what I mean? I come over this way or something. Yeah, yeah. And we can, like, high fight more spuds in the air. <laughs> Even the rocks and stuff look pretty cool to me. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. I really want to ride down it, but there's going to be nothing on the other side. <laughs> Yorkshire lads Josh and Tom are pro wakeboarders. They're no strangers to unusual locations, so an abandoned swimming pool is right up there. Stream? Yeah, we'll kick a hit over it, but not yeah. part of over that. We'll have to have a couple of runs. You can just open water to see the sort of distance you get in, so you can measure it up this sort of distance, to see if you can actually make that gap. As they measure up the space, local lad and pro freestyle skater Reese has come to join the crew and share his local knowledge. Hi, I'm Katie. Katie and Reese. Very nice to meet you. Oh, we're going to hug it out. Yeah, we've got a skateboard there. Skater, man. What's up, man? Oh, right, really full big revamp here. I think it's close to £300,000 worth just to make it safe. It's really quite sad. I think a lot of people mm. felt that a big part of their childhood completely going to ruin. You can have, like, me, like, I grew up in America, whatever, he's from, like, Scotland. Like, we're, like, getting along, like, perfect, you know what I mean? Just because we skate, because we've got that bond, you know what I mean? That's why I like it. You can have a group of skaters, like, ten people, right? I then, like, want to be, like, fucking rich, middle class, like, poor, like, black, white, Asian, Christian, atheist, Muslim, like, it don't matter. Like, if you skate and, like, you're safe, like, we're down with you, you know what I mean? Like, because, like, I, I skate street, but within street, there's, like, different styles of street skaters. But he skates more, he's, like, a, would you say, freestyle flat ground? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. You know, you can pretty much do everything I can do, but he just doesn't choose to do it. <laughs> Whereas I can't do anything he does. You know what I mean? That's not my choice.
Wales coming together in one. <laughs> While the skaters seem to have found their feet on the ground, our wakeboarders are busy testing the water. Pulls the wakeboarder across a certain stretch of any, hey, I water, want it here. any water location. I want it here further. We want it where? Further. You want it here? It's on wheels, don't we? Wakeboarding is a perfect sport to bring an unloved pool back to life. Josh and Tom waste no time getting in. After landing some impressive flips, the boys look for a bigger challenge. And with the big gap between the two pools, they'll try something they've never tried before. It looks pretty good to me. Apart from it being lopsided. I really want it to work. Yeah. And I really want us to get enough speed. Yeah, sure. How high will it be? The wakeboarders are prepping for the jump, but Jed has his own priorities. Oh, right. The point of this is to have a nice swing session. This is a quirky rig. I love quirky rigs. Have you ever rigged up a purple double like the bus before? I don't think so. I've rigged up quite a few like trains and stuff. It's not too bad if you're good, but I'm shit. <laughs> All of your bales are so hard. Bring some of this slack in. Give you support. How are you just doing that? That's crazy, honestly. Okay, so just try this. You okay, I'll just try that. that. Like, you literally just sat here as if it was so easy. In the pussy. You guys don't need to <laughs> I'm ready. Back in the pool, Tom has to hit 30 miles an hour to clear the gap. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's the first major setback of the day. Nowhere yeah. near far enough. Like, it just clears the first three steps. Just, just clears the first three steps. It doesn't even, doesn't even make it to the fourth step. No, I'm not doing that. Nowhere near. No. What? Dead. Balls are for trying it. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> if we can set the wind shut right, I'll try going down. Yeah, but he didn't even land in the water. It's worse, what's worse, landing on the concrete or landing in shallow water? I'll land in the shallow water, I mean, if I make it. I'll use a smaller kicker. So it sends me longer rather than higher. Stand around all day, have one crash and then stop. You're all right, aren't you, Tom? So we're going to watch. We're going to see if uh, Josh, if we think he has enough speed. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tyler is proving a lot more risky than they first imagined, and the group are questioning some decisions. I think I, I, yeah. I reckon you would. Yeah? Yeah. Some people are disagreeing, but I think you would. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. I think yes. Yep. This is like, you might as well just go base jumping. Base jumping might be safer than this. Like, into shallow water. Look at that. This looks really scary. <laughs> really scary. I'm a little bit freaked out. I think everyone's like watching on, wondering what's going to happen go on, but he's dead keen to jump it, so why not let him try? Smash it in. What kind of places do you bring me to? Although a little sore, the wakeboarders are ready to well, call it a day. You did the hard one. But that leaves the rest of the crew to start prepping for their finale. With barely any space, Pete has to hit precisely between the two kickers. Yeah, yeah done it, that's fast. Right, these are such cool ramps. It's probably going to be one of the biggest step ups I've ever done. Um, one of the craziest ones, anyway. It's quite a big gap. Uh, yeah, it's going to be sick. All right, you ready? And it's another major fail. Oh. Do you hurt anywhere? Just my ribs, but. Just the ribs. Tarlea has proven to be a little dangerous, 
but there's no stop in this lot. Once a major attraction, this great British pool has truly been left for dead. But that didn't stop the crew jumping in at the deep end and bringing Tarlair back to life. That was so good. That gave me shivers. 